For this video, we're going to look at a tutorial for Flickr. We're going to do five key things. Uh, we're going to look at uh, advanced searches, creative commons, uploading and downloading, how to add notes, and how to add sets. All right, so let's first thing we want to do is go look at advanced searches. So we're going to go over to search, and then you're going to select advanced search. And from the advanced search page, uh, we're going to enter in the title of whatever we're looking for. So I'm going to do, let's say I'm doing a photo essay. And in that photo essay, my main character goes to Dubai. Well, I'm really fascinated with the man-made islands in Dubai. So I want to go ahead and look those up. And, and this is where the Creative Commons comes in. All right, Creative Commons means that the person has given you a license to use their photos. Now, you don't want to use their photos commercially. You don't want to try to make money off of them. But if you're using them for a school project, for a work project, then you're fine. You're working underneath that license that they've agreed upon. So we'll go ahead and search. Now, everything that pops up is going to be a result from Creative Commons. All right, so these are all licensed uh, pictures under Creative Commons. I really like, let's see, I like the satellite image from the second one. And uh, if you read down here, it says world's largest man-made island. This is truly one of a modern era engineering marvel. It's a really cool picture. This is an island in Dubai, man-made. Um, they also have an island. They also have a set of man-made islands that look like the world. It's pretty cool. This is a, a favorite. I'm just going to click on Add to Faves. This will show up in my faves whenever I go. Now, in order to save this and use this for your photo essay or for a project, you would want to save image as. You're going to want to title it um, whatever keywords you like. Now, my, what I'm doing is uh, going in and putting this on my hard drive. I've selected my web photos, which is just a part of um, you know my pictures. It's a folder in my pictures. I'll hit save and get rid of that. All right, so now what? Uh, I've downloaded the computer or I've downloaded the photo onto the computer. Now I got to go back to you, and this is where I'm back to my photo stream. All right, so I want to add some photos to my photo stream to be able to create my essay. So I'm going to go up into you go to upload photos now, uploading means I'm taking it off my computer and putting it online if you have a lot of photos let's say you've got 10 12 15 photos for your photo essay the best thing to do is to upload a tool called or download a tool called Flickr uploader so you would close down here to the Flickr's tool page and this is what I'm talking about Flickr uploader 3.0 download it for Windows or Mac if you have it and uh, and this allows you to drag and drop a ton of pictures up at one time and then to deal with all those pictures with that batch upload all at one time but we don't need to do that so let's just go back on the browser we're gonna go to choose photo since we only have one photo we're gonna go find that man-made photo there it is all right and we're gonna make I'm gonna make this public because I want people to be able to see it and I'm going to upload the photo. Doesn't take too long. Now, after you upload your photo, you get to add things to it. You get to add a description. All right. Now, this is a description of this photo. So this is just say this is a um, Palm Island, Palm Island in in Dubai, world's largest. Or worlds no, well let's not put that because maybe those are the other guy's words and we don't know for sure we'll just say Palm Island in Dubai love the satellite image I want to um, add some tags to it tags are just keywords so I'll type in Dubai and man-made that works All right. and let's scroll down now I could choose to add this to a set right now, but I'm not going to because I'm going to uh, show you how to do that from a different window. All right, let's go ahead and save this batch. There's only one photo in the batch. Now I could change the um, the title just by clicking on it. So I'm going to capitalize it. All right. Now I want to go ahead and look at adding notes. So I'm going to click on that photo now that it's uploaded in my photo stream. And I want to add a note. So go right up here, click add note. And then you could drag this little guy over to anywhere you want. I'm just going to add a big note. 
let's say right over this center part. Um, I'm going to type in just, uh, you know, if you're doing a photo essay, you'd want to type in a couple sentences here or a paragraph. I'm just going to add a quick description or, or, or something as an example. Um, So it says, love how the palms spiral away from the center of the island. Um, let's go ahead and fix my spelling while I'm at it. Looks cool from up above. And they'll hit save. And that's all you got to do to add a note. If you want to add another note, you just go to add note. Move the box to where you want to add it. Let's say, just add it down here. I'm going to write, not sure exactly what that is. Once again, if you're doing a photo essay, you just type out a couple sentences here. And now I have two notes over the photo. If I hover my mouse away from the photo, I can't see them. Hover them over the photo, there's the two notes. You can just hover right above the specific box, and that tells me what note, uh, what the note says. All right, so now how do I add this photo to a set? Well, you just go right back up to the top, and you click Add to Set. Now, I don't want to add it to an existing set, because I just don't want it in there. Let's just create a new set. So this is where you create a new set. I'm going to title this photo essay uh, number one or whatever. And then we'll just write a short description in there. This is a photo essay for a project I'm working on. And then you create new set. Click OK. Go back to your page. And you'll notice that you're, there's your photo, man-made islands. But then you'll also notice that you have a set over here. With your free Flickr account, you only get up to three sets. So I'll probably end up deleting this one after I got done with my project. All right. And that's the end. Hopefully this Flickr tutorial will help you with your any photo essays or easy Flickr projects you're doing for school or work.